Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe, I appreciate the views, influences, interest on YouTube. What's going on people, this is Influencer. Today I have a comparison video with Fans Toys, Phantasm, and TEs. I forget what it was called. There are two Mirages, the Masterpiece Mirages that are super cartoon accurate. Now, as I say in all my comparison videos, this isn't super comprehensive and unobjective. This is strictly just comparing the looks and some of the things that it does and, and doesn't do. So we'll get into this now. So first, let's go with the head sculpts. So you can see their head sculpts are quite different. I actually like both of their head sculpts. Cartoon accuracy out the window. I'm not sure which is more cartoon accurate. I think this is more cartoon accurate. A picture of him on the screen. So yeah, their faces. I kind of like his face better. I like the gray. I'm not sure about the, it's more a white over here. Baby blue, white kind of his head is smaller and I kind of do like the smaller head his head is a little bigger I don't know it's kind of a wash for me the shapes of their head is kind of the same I like how the it's protruding more over here however I definitely like the color this blue over here so that's the next thing I mean the blues are a little different try to I think the camera's catching it pretty much how it is it's not terribly different but it's definitely different i love this blue over here this blue is nice too i like the cut this color blue but for mirage i like this blue this is kind of light for me and i always had that problem like it always was a little more lighter blue than what i liked so it's a trade-off for me because the baby blue powder blue whatever you want to call it of this stuff uh it, it grew on me but i didn't like it when i first saw it uh even though it's cartoon accurate i definitely like his feet over here and i'm skipping around these things right here i kind of like them in silver and i like the feet in silver now it's not cartoon accurate this is cartoon accurate i mean you're not going to find a more accurate figure than fans toys so let's just get that out the window or, or throw that out the window because if you're looking for total cartoon accuracy you already know who's winning however i think this guy is 50 dollars right now where you can find him for 50 i've I seen somebody selling him on ebay for 48 actually and mmc's i think you can get for around that price so price tag wise <laughs> he wins i think he is the better buy uh out of the two if you're gonna go with just not even just price like you'll get you're getting a great figure for that a fraction of this and they feel the same heavy wise actually te might be heavier um i'm not sure i wish i had a scale they're pretty much similar though feeling both both in hand they're pretty much similar as far as the hef i think they have die cast in the exact same spots it feels like it the legs are die cast i believe with both figures there's some die cast up here i think uh i think that's it i think there may be some down here maybe uh, no don't know not sure but it, whatever the case is they feel exactly the same these are die cast i think on both figures so all of the leg hardware uh, yeah so it just makes them feel exactly the same as far as heft and guns wise again it's up to you i do like this gun better over here the te this is more accurate the screen accurate again the shoulders i don't like these i like these better but i like the way these are uh on them. i like him having a full arm and this being able to move out the way so you can get a little more i guess uh articulation kind of well you can get all the articulation anyway because it is just out the way and the proportions are a little bit bigger so you, you can get a little more articulation there 
do like that he has a double jointed elbow a fully double jointed elbow uh, so articulation this guy i think nails are articulation better i don't usually do too much articulation but i just want to see how the back skirts are the backpack is more further down therefore you do have some trouble with getting his waist bent i now remember that that was an issue and also with his getting it all the way back is an issue because of this backpack so there's that you have uh, the spoiler heel spurs help him stand a little better than fans toys i think they both had no he had no ratchets but they both had the double he had a double jointed knee so he got more than 90 but he has a ratchet in his so he definitely fans toys definitely beat in hardware again uh, let's see the back back comparison it's pretty much the same you got this stuff up here it, this stuff is hidden in the legs over here so you just have the cockpit you don't have the actual engine piece in the steering wheel tires protrude in the back and on this guy the tires are not protruding in the back but they are they do have the spoiler uh leg spurs so it does make it for a little bit more mess back here it doesn't bother me but just noting it i think from the side it's pretty similar this is skinnier these are a little fatter again i think that comes down to the accuracy of the car as well on in the robot so you get that let me see on this side same thing same difference on this side missiles wise i forget to mention the missiles they both have connected missiles which is nice this missile is way bigger than his and everything on this guy is bigger he's just a, he's a bigger bot too as well like standing up let me see if i can get them to stand in a straight pose straight up and down g1 style So actually straight up and down G1 style is not uh I forgot this. Yeah, I have this right. This right here is I'm not even gonna mention it because it's not really supposed to be that color. That always bothered me on this figure, but I know a few were out shipped out like that, so you may get one like that. But yeah, I I, I said he was way taller and he's not. He's not way taller. He may be a, a hair taller. This is bigger. But as far as side by side, when they're standing straight up, you can see it's, it's about the same size, same height. He just he just gets his legs out a little bit. Once his legs get out, he he goes goes down in the stance. He doesn't. Like I'm not sure what it is. If it's the hips, it's probably the hips. The way the hips are, you can get him in the A stance, and he doesn't really duck down as much so once you get them both in the a stance he's bigger but yeah i don't know how i don't know what else to there is to say about this uh hands are the same pretty similar they're on the one pin with the thumb sticking straight out and let me see if you can get into the body in the side I know I did a side view already, but then you can see this. They both have good coverage, no gaps, no holes. You can see up in the body, you can see his tires and stuff up in there. If that might bother you here, it's a little more cleaner, but there's still a bunch of stuff there just covering up. So yeah, I mean, what can you say? The chest is slimmer. Let me see, I didn't even uh, notice that. So yeah, over here the chest is slimmer, makes for a little more accuracy, especially in the car mode. This is a little more wider up here, and in the front splitter, this actually folds in to cover up. This folds in but goes underneath, so you get the same effect. However, like I said, this right here is bigger, and 
this is more round than the more V that you have. It is rounded off. It's not a, a straight hard V, but you get a more V over here with this stuff being more even and clean. This right here isn't that clean because of that. That's probably my biggest thing that I like over here versus here is all of this right here, which is probably the, the main bot and probably the main reason why I am uh, switching out because I just like all this, I like how this looks, the upper body. Like I could swap these and be good, but the upper body, including the face and head, even though I do like this head, it goes well with everything over here, this head. Uh, I mean, it's just cohesive. It looks like Mirage. And uh, the hollow bits in here never bothers me. It's at the bottom. You can't really ever see them. Even when you, I guess when you, if you had it like that, you could see it. Yeah, you can see it from that angle. But it, it just, I don't know, it never bothers me because I think I don't ever have his arm up that high in order to notice it on the shelf. And he's on one of my middle shelves. So like if he was on a top shelf and you're looking up, you may see it. It may bother you. I don't know. I still think it shouldn't be there as at the price point. But I mean, as far as the figure goes, it doesn't bother me. All right. So thank you for joining me again. And I will get over to you in another one. As long as you alive, you can give another try and take it real high if you want.